and we are back at Just Wing It. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. A lot of new subscribers lately, and very much appreciative. Uh, appreciative of all subscribers. So, hey, thank you very, very much for tuning in. Uh, today, we have some exclusive content. More exclusive content. And no, it is not the Wildcat, which is my favorite. It is. Da, da, da. Yes, it is the new Mall M7 1.5 meter scale stole park flyer for intermediate pilots. Bam! There it is. Okay, so like with the clipped wing cub, we uh, uh, have the privilege of getting a sneak peek, a first look at the mall. So as you can see, uh, she comes very nicely packaged, um, very, uh, a very nice sized box. Ugh, move this thing around here. I like the uh, the photo here on the back. That's really nice. It has the the snowy mountains there. Uh, but in any event, here you go. We have scale authenticity over any terrain. Okay, and here we have uh, the measurements. Okay, so right there, we're looking at uh, about a 55 inch wingspan. Um, that's 66, uh, 66 ounces, etc., etc. But in any event, there you go. Here's the box. Uh, has AS3X with Safe Select, the new. Ugh, this box is kind of heavy. The new <laughs> Mall M7. Okay, stole aircraft, and it has the flat, or rather the floats. Comes with the floats. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this beauty out of the box. I can't wait. Um, and we'll show you what the package looks like. And we're just going to deep dive from there. This is going to be a what's in the box. This will be a what's in the box because a lot of folks have aversions to unboxing videos. Air fingers, unboxing videos. But we're going to call this a what's in the box. All right. Um, but we'll give you a, a look about what, uh, or we'll give you a sneak peek about how she looks inside. So let me get the, uh, the, the, car inner, uh, the inner foam pulled out. We'll show you what she looks like. And here we are. There's the box in the background. And no, there, there are no wildcats were hurt in the video filming. Okay. <laughs> that box is not up against the Wildcat, of course. Okay, here is what she looks like, okay, outside the confines of her cardboard. Um, very nice, very nice. Oh, it awaits, it awaits. Everything is taped very nicely. Um, and yes, it has the nice new model smell. What I find really interesting is this. The wheels are on the, are on the, oh, okay, so the wheels are attached. Okay, you're, you're looking at this as I'm looking at it. So the wheels are attached to the, uh, the gear, which, by the way, uh, they have the wheel, they have the wheel fairings already, or the, the, the little, uh, molded plastic, uh, yeah, the wheel fairings. This wire, oh my god. You kidding me? That is thick. That is some thickness right there. <laughs> so in any event, so you have your wheels on the sides of the box. I can tell right there that's going to be the uh, vertical stab and rudder. Uh, here's your float mounts right here. Okay. Here's your floats. And look at this. We have a servo in the floats. Look at look at that right there. The servo complete with servo arm rudder yeah there's no playing around with this I mean there's no hey this thing might turn in the water it might you know might not no it's it's going to turn 
Um, the it's interesting. The mounts have brass fittings inside. The mounts have brass fittings, so that's that's really nice right there. Or rather, or correction. That yeah the. Uh, Okay, it looks like the, uh, the the mounts will slide in this way, and those brass fittings are for the screws. The screws will go down in there, and uh, yeah, okay. All right, well, very nice. Uh, everything is, is taped very well. You have the wings, um, and everything's already attached. The owner's manual is right in here, so uh, looks like we can pull it out. There we are. Okay, owner's manual. So we'll go ahead and we'll show that. Um, very nice artwork there. Uh, here's the uh, spinner. Okay, so it's all there. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and off camera, I'm going to go ahead and cut the tape off. Uh, and take the tape off because I'm a one, one person show, a one man show. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go back on camera and I'll slowly start to take all these parts out. Okay? So, all right, we are doing the what's in the box of the new uh, Horizon Hobby E-Flight Mall M7. And we are back with the what's in the box of the new Horizon Hobbies and E-Flight Mall M7. Now, in order to make this a bit more efficient, because I am a one-man show, and because, as you can clearly see, this is a very wide uh, fuselage, um, I've decided to take the, the, the various components out and just sort of lay them out here, and we will go over them, uh, not so much one at a time, but certainly... Uh, I want to cover some of the interesting aspects I'm already seeing. First off, this this rod, this carbon rod that uh, for the wing spar is is out of this world. It is huge. I mean, look at this thing. It is just ginormous. So it just slides in just like so. And look, I'm doing it with one hand. Look at that. Okay, there you go. There's your wing spar. All right. It is a ginormous uh, wing spar. Okay. Um, so that's a very, very good wing spar right there. I also want to say this. You know, I, I, this landing gear. If you look at the thickness of this wire, it is, it is very stout and sturdy. I am already getting the idea. That you are really gonna have to to bung up your landings to uh, <laughs> to bend this out of shape. I'm sure that there's some flexibility in it. That's just the way it is. It's sort of built in. Another thing I want to talk about these wheels. These wheels they have a rubbery component to them, but they're not uh, a hard plastic, nor are they even really as hard. I think as like maybe the sport cup or something. They seem to be a bit of a hybrid, and that's a good thing. So here's your landing gear, uh, your propeller. Okay, the propeller is as you can see, it's an 11 by 7. So 11 by 7 prop. It's a good looking prop. We got a little bit of the foam on her still. Okay, but yeah, so it's a good looking prop, and that's going to be yanking the plane around with authority. Uh, we have. Accessory packet with a uh, bit of a little bit of a weight uh, for the front. Here's the accessory packet with the uh, Y harnesses, extra linkages, uh, the landing gear mounts. I can tell right there that's going to be your landing gear mounts, etc., etc. Okay, the the spinner comes in two pieces. There's a back plate, and then there's the nose that will screw on into the front there. Okay, these parts and pieces parts have just come out of the confines of its styrofoam shipping container. Okay, here is the horizontal, uh, complete with counterbalance. Okay, complete with counterbalance. Uh, as you can see, they're connected 
so that they both move simultaneously. Now, the, the struts, the bracing struts that apparently will go right in there, looks like to me. So the bracing strut will go there um, and they, they fold, as you can see. So there's a screw, they're attached vis-a-vis -a, -vis a screw. Uh, and as you can see, look at the, the, the black line, there's a very thick spar that uh, is here on the, uh, the horizontal. So in any event, the horizontal is held in by two screws. Um, and actually the two screws will go in to the uh, elevator and that will hold the entire uh, assembly together. Actually it appears, let me get this right for you, let me get this right, because this is the first look. There's two screws in the top and there's two screws on the top that go through. Yep, two screws on the top and then a screw in the bottom. And the screw in the bottom has a brass fitting. It's hard to see it. You just have to you can see it there shining. It has a brass fitting. So those screws, those three screws in the vertical stab, and look at the markings. Look at the markings. Oh man, that's a good job. I'm sorry, that's 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 a good job. So those will then hold the the uh, horizontal stab and elevator stop. Okay. Uh, hey, there's been some questions about the uh, about the uh, windows, and I think we'll address that right now because, as you can clearly see, the windows are not frosted in any way, shape, or form. Um, so let me get down here and show you. That there's that pilot. It's all business. And he actually looks fairly scale. Remember, this is a four-place aircraft. Um, but as you can see, we're looking through the windows. And yeah, there, those windows, you can see the other mall there in the ad behind through the glass. These are not frosted. So for our FPV guys out there that are a bit worried, uh, no need to worry. The windows are not frosted. I really like that cabin detail with the two... Uh, struts. Okay, the, the wing attachments. Um, there's two brass fittings. The screws go up from underneath. Okay, so here's the bottom parts of the wings. Uh, they go up from underneath. Screws do go up from underneath. There's one. There's two. Uh, here's your strut. Okay, I'm going to fold your strut over. Okay, your strut will attach. Um, and the strut attaches obviously to the wing. Hard plastic, there's no spaghetti strut at all, hard plastic. Um, the clevises are your normal twist type clevises, which I actually prefer over ball because then I don't need a special tool to feel to make any adjustments. So I don't, I personally don't mind that at all. I think that's great. But in any event, the wings screw in, and again, there are, there are brass fittings where the wings screw in. Uh, as you can see, we have the uh, the uh, wiring right here, or, or a wire. Let me grab my trusty Benchmade knife that has served me well over many, many years. There we go. Okay, and here we go. We're getting them both out right on camera. And there you go. So both these leads will come out. You have a flap. An aileron lead, you simply plug them in uh, to the leads right chiang. Simply plug them in there. You can fold them, uh, tuck them in neatly into that pocket or even into this pocket and then you simply attach your wing. Boom, your wing goes on with two bolts there. Uh, strut, going to be good to go. When I get this assembled and as I get this assembled I will talk more about it. Um, but right here, there's the details. Uh, a lot of details. Look at this. Details for the flaps. Uh, there's some simulated metal rivets. Very nice. Wow. Um, and I'm looking at this first time right now. So, yeah. 
Wow. So here we have the molded in vortex generators. Okay, I think they're going to do fine. Looks like a, a fuel cap. Uh, this must be the fuel filler here, actually. That's some kind of leading edge doohickey. <laughs> and there's for the antennas. Uh, let's see what we got going on right here. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. So there's your uh, position light. That one's going to be red because this is the left wing. And there you go. There's your landing light. So I believe... I believe, yep, it has another landing light over here on the the uh, right wing, if you will, starboard wing. This position light will be green. Uh, but wouldn't it be cool to figure out for our bush pilots out there, Joel, for our bush <laughs> pilots out there, wouldn't it be cool to make these things wigwag? Huh? Wow, that would be cool. Uh, yeah, so anyways, there you go. There's both wings. Um, and yeah, these are some pretty substantial wings, okay? Very substantial. So we've looked at the the horizontal with the elevators. We've looked at the vertical with the rudder. Here are the wing assemblies. We have talked about the wheels and the and I mean the the beefy <laughs> look at look at how big that wire is. You, I mean, good luck bending that thing. If you if you bend this, then you have done some other structural damage. I mean, I wow, that that is thick. Okay, um, so and we've talked about the the fuselage again. We we've looked at the fuse, um, and we we've shown how. Look at that. Look at that. It's crystal clear, okay? There's no I'm shooting this through the can through the cockpit. There's no Look at that. That little guy's serious. Look at this guy. He's serious. But by the way, you can see how clear he is, crystal clear he is. There, there's there, the the windows are not frosted. Um and I really really again dig this uh this detail in there. Hey, let's come around the other side. Oh, no, you know what? Let's look at dun, 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 the tail wheel. Okay, nice. Nice big tail wheel. Um, and what's going to happen is the rudder, yep, the rudder, this part right here, will key in to this. And then now we're going to have the rudder activating the tail wheel. Uh, as we look back here, this is a, a hardened, a hardened area that that these two these two screws that go in here will actually go into here, and those are brass fittings as well. Let me get this at an angle here. Oh yeah, look at that brass fittings. Okay, so very very beefy and da 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 brass fitting. Okay, so very, very nice. Um, and you can clearly see where this is keyed in right here. Where, in fact, oh man. So, tongue and groove, tongue and groove right here. And it goes in. There's the groove right here. I'm putting my, my pinky finger in the groove. So, yeah, that's going to be extremely positive. Okay. So let's let's bring this around here and see the business end. So here's the the motor, and let's take a look inside. First look inside. Okay, there is a a wow one-handed. Okay, I did it one-handed. So here's a little uh, spring-loaded detent. Your battery cover. Has a tongue and groove in the back and the little spring loaded guy up front. Okay. There you go. So you pull that pull that out. And now we we have the battery compartment. Okay. We have EC3, standard data. Uh, 
and we have a very, very sizable battery compartment. Um, very nice. We have a a uh, bit of hook and loop here. They provide the uh, hook and loop. This is the one right here for the battery. So they, they provide you this to attach your battery to. Okay. Pull this out. Yep. Very nice. Okay. So that's for your battery. You can actually put that on your battery. Uh, the compartment goes right to the bulk. The plastic, it's a plastic bulkhead right here with a plastic uh, cup, if you will, up front. There is light ply, light ply, and it is deep. Okay, it's really deep. It's really deep. It goes, it goes approximately um, underneath the dash, if you will. Okay, you can see how deep it is. I can stick my finger in there, but it is a box. It is a box. This is a box, and uh, strictly for the battery, but it's up front and it's a top load. Awesome. Okay, so that you don't have to flip the plane over and. Uh, you know, mar it up, basically, uh, when you're trying to get your batteries in. And again, here's another look at the the uh, window. So, okay, very cool, very cool. Okay, we'll put the EC3 back in, and I'm just going to test this on on various batteries. Um, so, uh, in any event, we will have a good representation of the kinds of batteries this can fly on. I can tell already by looking at that, we're looking at probably 3S, maybe the 3000, maybe 3200, uh, 3S 2200 for sure, and then a 4S, uh, I'm being told up to 3200 as well on 4S. The battery compartment is certainly uh, deep enough. Uh, we're gonna have to find out if it's, if it's well, it's deep enough vis-a-vis -vis height is it deep enough vis-a-vis -vis length? We're going to find that out. We're going to test it, and we're going to show it. So, again, things I like already. This massively beefy, <laughs> massively beefy uh, carbon uh, spar for the wing. Very, very beefy. Um, and, of course, there are additional spars that run... The length of the wing as well and and I know this because I can see the cutouts and I can actually see the spar inside so you have your main spar right here that will go to just about here right before the servo and then there's an additional spar that takes up just above the servo and then takes it all the way out so there's your strength so a lot of strength in this um, I like to spar again. I really, <laughs> I'm really digging these wheels. I'm digging these wheels, but we're going to test the plane. Um, hey, it's an 11.7 prop. Now, real quick, there's some folks that are asking, well, how, you know, will this plane fly on both 3S and 4S? Well, simple, because this prop is not overly large for 3S. However, uh, it, it is big enough to give you the, the, the needed uh, grunt during stall flight. But it's also not too big where you're going to burn up the motor in ESC flying it on 4S. Make sense? So, so there you go. Um, and the, of course the floats there in the back. Um, the float hardware I have back there. There's two uh, attachments. Uh, there's two uh, struts, if you will, that, that attach the floats to the fuse, and then these two cross members here as well that go in between the floats to keep them uh, the prop appropriate width uh, apart. So, also the neat thing about the floats, da da da, right there, bam. So you have a servo that actually has a direct linkage to the water rudder. So there you go. So in any event, here we are. All right, you're looking at it. You are looking at it. Uh, this is the uh, sneak peek. Uh, 
what's in the box of the new Horizon Hobbies E-Flight Mall M7 model. Okay, just a fantastic looking rendition of an absolutely classic uh, bush plane. My first experience with these, and we're going a little long, but uh, I'll talk more about my experience with these malls at my local airport as a young kid growing up and watching the mall M5s um, taking off in like, you know, 100 feet or less. And that's really one of the things that got me into stole aircraft was this, the mall M7's predecessor, uh, I, I believe the M5 was also a swept tail. There are swept tail malls, okay, there are swept tail malls, and then there are round tail malls, all right? But they all are short field capable aircraft. So there you go. Uh, there you be. Next video, it's gonna, we're going to be flying this thing. So I hope you enjoyed this What's in the Box of the uh, new Mall M7. If you have any questions at all, uh, please contact me via RC Groups. Uh, I'm also on Twitter, Just Wing It, Just Wing It 5. Uh, please subscribe, appreciate it. Stay tuned for more exclusive videos, plenty more coming, um, and that's the way you're going to get them, is by subscribing. Thank you for watching. If you want to see anything in particular, find the RC Group's thread on the Mall M7, and you can even ask me there, or you can ask me in the comments below the video. In the comments below the video, ask me uh, any questions you want. I'll try and get measurements for you, do whatever uh, we need to do to help facilitate. So in any event, again, I hope you enjoyed this What's in the Box of the new Horizon Hobbies E-Flight Mall M7. All right, thanks for watching. Happy landings, everybody. And cheers. The Mall's Maiden coming soon.